Hi everyone, Michael Cavaccini here. I want to share a story with you today about the time I went to go see Melissa Manchester with my dads recently. So the Schultz Hill Foundation was established in 2002 to promote and support arts, history, and education in South Jersey. So on August 5th, Schultz Hill celebrated its 20th anniversary with a performance by Grammy Award winning music icon Melissa Manchester. Not only is Schultz Hill celebrating its 20th anniversary, but Melissa is celebrating her 50th year as a musician, so the pairing was kismet. Before the show, um, yeah, I decided, first off, the whole reason why I went to this show is because, number one, I haven't seen Melissa in forever. Uh, I interviewed her earlier this year, but I hadn't seen her live since before COVID. My parents, my dads, had never seen her or met her, but they've heard good things. You know, both my dad and I are friends of her on Facebook, all that stuff. And as I go, like, oh, it'd be great to bring them to the show. She's performing with an orchestra. You know, we can meet her after the show. It'll just be a great time. And they've never done this whole celebrity meet and greet situation thing with me before. So I thought, with the baby on the way, now's the time, you know, before it's too late. So I brought them to the show in Atlantic City and um, at resorts uh, on, you know, on this date that I was just talking about, but before the show. You know, I found a Barry Manilow handprint block from July 6, 1980 at Resorts, uh, considering I'm a huge Barry Manilow fan, uh, and I'm, and this is a week before we saw Barry, it's pretty cool to uh, see this little kind of walk of fame thing in the, the casino. So performing for more than an hour, Melissa played to a packed house, a packed house of approximately a thousand fans. I mean, and people were showing up pretty late uh like the show was at 8 30 and people were just filing in at 8 30. i don't know why people arrived at the last minute but go figure but we had like a, there were like a thousand fans that raised more than one hundred thirty-five thousand dollars for the schultz hill foundation and melissa comes out just wearing this beautiful purple sequin um outfit uh you know she just radiated confidence and joy and you know, the bay atlantic symphony which accompanied her for this performance were spectacular. I mean, they were just really, really good and elevated her music to an even higher level. I mean, I've seen her numerous times without an orchestra, and they made this her best concert yet. And the presence of the, the orchestra allowed Melissa to dramatically alter her set. I mean, normally she kind of has, you know, certain hit thing, uh, beats that she hits, certain songs that she always does, but because of the orchestra, she switched things up and she included more orchestral songs, including a lot of cover songs by Dean Martin, Johnny Mathis, Ella Fitzgerald, Dionne Warwick, Judy Garland, and others. I mean, I was really surprised by a lot of the song choices and it was nice because it made for an unpredictable, highly enjoyable show. You know, in addition to her tremendous interpretations of these iconic songs uh, made by, famous by those who had a significant influence on Melissa, she performed just fantastic, uh, just electrifying performances of her biggest hits, including Midnight Blue, Through the Eyes of Love, and my favorite, Don't Cry Out Loud. And actually, as I was watching the orchestra, I could see the conductor kind of looking over his shoulder, like with the baton, like trying to figure out when is she about to hit another note, because the moment she hits another note, he needs to tell the musicians, okay, now we're going to keep going. <laughs> It must be a really tough job, I mean, not just to conduct an orchestra, but to conduct an orchestra for a singer who's at your back, and you need to try to follow along on the fly. Uh, and my parents had never seen her before, uh, so I was excited to bring them to this concert. Little did they know uh, it would wind up being her best, at least the best that I've seen. And both of them loved the show and were excited to me meet Melissa afterward. Uh, when I approached Melissa, she gave me the biggest hug, uh, asked how my you know, pregnant wife is doing and greeted my parents with open arms. Uh, she's really just one of the kindest, most loving people I know, uh, not to mention a musical virtuoso. I'm just delighted I could share this magical evening with my parents and Melissa. And it's when we went up to her, there was a sign that said, like, don't shake hands with Melissa, essentially. And we're like, oh, OK, this is some COVID related thing. And I said to my dad's, I'm like, she's going to give me a hug. I said, you don't need to worry about shaking hands. I'm sure she's going to give me a hug. <laughs> and she saw me and she stretched out her arms, gave me a big hug. And then she saw my dad, the one who she's friends with on Facebook, and gave him a big hug. She like lunged for him. And this, the one of the guys who I guess is security or photographer, someone who works for the, the casino there, was like, no touching. 
And dad's like, she hugged me. Like, <laughs> that's like, what are you gonna do? That's just who she is, right? She's a loving, affectionate, caring person. Just one of the best people I've ever met. I mean, I can't say enough good things about her. And yeah, it was just fantastic. So we got a group photo. And then afterward, I just asked, I'm like, would it be okay if I got a, a solo photo with Melissa? And they said, yeah. And so they brought me up there. I got my photo with her. And I'm so happy about that because I met Melissa years ago. She was at a convention and they had an opportunity to take professional photos and I passed up on it. I didn't do it. I just took a photo at her table or something like that. And I was like, damn, I should have gotten that professional photo with her because the quality would be so much better. Well, at this concert, they had a professional photographer. So I got two professional photos with her, one with my dad's and one solo. So uh, I'm thrilled that I made up for that kind of missed opportunity uh, from the past. And actually at that conference or convention is when I interviewed Melissa in her hotel room, which is another story for another day. But it was a fantastic experience and I'll tell you all about that in another video. But yeah, this night followed by the Barry Manilow show a week later, I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything better. These, both of these shows just presented both artists, Melissa Manchester and Barry Manilow, to my parents in the greatest light possible. They got to witness just spectacular shows and they got to meet these people and see just how kind and personable they are in real life. And um, and like I said, both artists treated me like family. I mean, I just, every once in a while I pinch myself and say, is this real life? Because uh, I'm very grateful and very happy for these opportunities and I do not take them for granted whatsoever and yeah hopefully when my baby is old enough i'll be able to bring him to a show too and uh, share these experiences with him so you know that that's my story about this melissa manchester concert and she's delightful and if you get a chance to see her please do so because uh, uh, at the show on august 5th she was really at the height of her abilities and i'm sure there's the best is yet to come so thanks for tuning in I uh, appreciate it. Please make sure to like this video, share it with others so they can hear this great story. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I just really appreciate your support. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.